Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for your uh, introduction. First of all, I would like to thank organizing committee to uh, uh, invite me for this presentation. Uh, title of my talk is uh, Perovskite type metal halides for photovoltaics and, and other optoelectronic devices. So, and uh, research collaborator for this research is uh, Mr. M. B. Jakhil Islam and M. B. Jahidur Rahman. M. Jahidur Rahman is uh, Jakhil Islam is uh, our MSc student, and Jahidur Rahman is pursuing his PhD at uh, University of Sydney, Australia. <clears throat> So my presentation uh, has, uh, is, uh, is, has got these headings, introduction, literature review, and then objectives, some applications, methodology, results and discussion, and finally, some concluding remarks. The perovskite type metal halide of formula ABXT, where A and B are metal, and X is halogen anion, and, and this perovskite material attracted huge attention by the researcher recently due to their remar remarkable application in so solar cell and outstanding optoelectronic properties like uh, high optical absorption, broad absorption spectrum, and then tunable band gap, long charge uh, diffusion length, high charge carrier mobility, etc. And these materials are, as you can see, these halogen, these materials are actually abundant in nature and, and, and they are very cheap materials. And the lead free metal halides are actually ductile in nature and, and uh, suitable for, uh, for fabrication of uh, some devices. And these metal halides show a range of uh, wide band gap, typically from 1.31 electron volt to 3.67 electron volt. So, uh, there is a plenty of room uh, for, for the researchers to uh, study these materials. In 2017, uh, there, is a, there is an article in scientific reports by Uthnod Jaman et al. Uh, and he has studied a lot of uh, metal halides like uh, cesium lead iodide, and then cesium lead bromide, cesium lead chloride, okay, and then cesium tin. Uh, halide like cesium tin iodide, cesium tin bromide, cesium tin chloride, and also cesium germanium iodide, cesium germanium bromide, cesium germanium chloride. They have studied it ex extensively, the base materials, and uh, and the result is uh, uh, they found that uh, for, for this halide, like cesium germanium halide, um, the lattice parameter decreases for, from iodide to chloride. So this is for cesium germanium halide series, and the red curve is for cesium tin halide, cesium tin halides, and and then this blue one is cesium uh, lead lead halides, and they are uh, calculated electronic band gap is uh, is this one various types of various types of halides. And the absorption, they, have, they also studied the absorption coefficient for various halides. And, uh, and um, among them, the cesium germanium halide has, has got a high absorption coefficient. So we have chosen, we have chosen some of this material for, for, for study. And then they also studied the uh, huge ratio uh, uh, for these materials. And, and for some of the compounds, the huge ratio is less than one. This line is the brittleness, ductility, broadal. So most of the most of the materials are most of the materials are ductile. So so objectives of this research is investigation of the structural properties of chromium and manganese. We have chosen two uh, series of halides. Uh, chromium and manganese dot cesium tin chloride and nickel and manganese dot cesium germanium chloride. And we have studied the electronic uh, band structure and then total and partial density of states and investigation of various optical fu functions like uh, absorption coefficient, conductivity, and real and imaginary parts of the dielectric function and reflectivity, etc. 
and also we have analyzed the mechanical properties of these uh, of these uh, pristine sample and also the top top samples and comparative analysis among the fundamental properties of the pristine and top samples uh, are also uh, presented here for to find out the better environment friendly curve type for solar cell and other uh, potential optoelectronic device uh, devices for application purposes so as i as i have already mentioned uh, you see these materials are actually suitable for for fabrication of solar cell and then some uh, photo detectors as they are they are photoconducting and also the fabrication of uh, leds methodology every issue density functional theory uh, uh, simulations were carried out by using cast step code of material studio 7 calculation of the electronic band gap was done using gga approach of pardo brook and anger hub the influence of metal doping of cubic uh, cubic cesium tin chloride and cesium germanium chloride crystals are studied by constructing uh, 222 super cell and then uh, the metal doped cesium tin chloride and cesium germanium chloride material possess chemical formula this one and we have chosen x value as uh, 0.125 for, for 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 both components and m is uh, chromium and manganese i have already mentioned and and uh, a in this case a is actually nickel and manganese and monthor spec technique was used for for sampling k points over the first trillion zone and uh, energy cut off these values are used Uh, for uh, geometry optimization and also the electric electronic property investigation of samples for describing the electron interaction van der waals type of ultra subsidy potential was used and then uh, proton fletcher gold for shannon relaxation scheme is used for optimizing the crystal structure and finite strain theory executed with the cast step module is used for evaluating the uh, elastic constants uh, to study the mechanics mechanical stability of the material and then void uh, rose field averaging scheme is used for obtaining the mechanical parameter from the evaluated uh, elastic constant the optical properties are calculated by using uh, cast step tool based on the standard dft constraint solutions this is the, as i have mentioned the experimental uh, there are some studies uh, experimental studies of these materials uh, an experimental band gap of cesium tin chloride is is uh, is 2.8 electron volt and then cesium germanium chloride is 3.67 electron volt and they exhibit actually medium optical absorption and especially in the ultraviolet range and therefore the pure cesium tin chloride are not actually preferable uh, for uh, solar cell applications and the inclusion of suitable dopant like chromium and manganese in these materials and uh, nickel and manganese in cesium germanium chloride may decrease the band gap and enhance the optical absorption in the visible region so uh, to find out the suitability of this materials in uh, uh, for some devices we have studied this one and then uh, there are some we have used this uh, this equation for calculation of the uh, bulk modulus shear modulus young modulus fuse ratios and poisson ratio etc and 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 also we have studied this one one approximation Uh, stability criteria for the mechanical stability of this of this material okay some brothers uh, this slide shows the structural uh, property of the uh, property of the cesium tin chloride metal halide and uh, this is the 3d view of the supercell 3d view of the supercell and this is the 2d view of the supercell and calculated lattice constant uh, for the present work for the cesium chloride it is uh, this one 0.5620 nanometer and and this result agrees well with the uh, results reported earlier and also very close to the results from experimental results and uh, and, and, and our top materials shows there is a slight decrease of uh, lattice parameter that is big because of the because of the ionic 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 area i mentioned here and also therefore the backward slow level this slide shows the uh structural property of cesium tin chloride supercell and this is the 3d one and this is the 2d 2d supercell again the uh, lattice parameter calculated uh, lattice parameter for this study is 0.5317 nanometer 
which is very close to the experimental experimental results and also the uh, previously calculated results by the some other authors. And then uh, as before, we have found uh, there is a slight decrease of lattice parameter uh, for nickel and manganese group samples. And again, these results can be explained uh, using uh, from the ionic, ionic radiation. And this slide shows the uh, electronic band structure for cesium chloride uh, perovskite. And this one is for uh, single cell, crystalline single cell. And this one is for super cell. And this one is for chromium doped samples. And this one is for uh, uh, manganese doped samples. And you see the band gap uh, of the pure super cell. You can find it. This is a direct band gap from here, from this, uh, uh, from the R point. And, and this is 0.943 electron volt. And if we calculate it from the super cell, super cell that is uh, this value and these two values are very close to each other. And uh, the band gap of the chromium, and you see these values are actually slightly uh, smaller than the uh, experimental experimental value as you have, uh, there are a lot of talks in, in, in the morning session. You see the GGA, of course, actually uh, calculate uh, slightly underestimate the band gap, band gap value. Okay, however, uh, for our for our uh, uh, study of our dopant, that that will not affect the uh, behavior of the dopant materials. We are we are uh, we are trying to uh, do the comparative study how the energy band uh, changes with with dopant concentration, and band gap for chromium dope uh, chromium dope uh, cesium chloride. Uh, it, it is not it is not a direct band gap one. So if we calculate, uh, not considering the intermediate energy state, we can found the band gap. Band gap is uh, band gap is this one. And then if we if we, you see there is an intermediate state near Fermi energy, and if we uh, if we uh, consider consider the intermediate state, the band gap is this one. So inter some intermediate energy energy states are appear in this case. And for manganese group cesium tin chloride. The band gap is uh, again it is uh, it's not direct indirect band gap so band gap is this one not considering intermediate state and if it was considered the intermediate state band gap band gap is this one and this slide shows the uh, band diagram for the cesium tin chloride uh, this is the for the pure cell pure cell super cell and then uh, nickel dope and then manganese dope. So the result is similar to the previous one. Again, this is direct band gap semiconductor having uh, band gap this one, uh, and this is for the super cell. And then uh, band gap for nickel the system chloride is again uh, is uh, is actually this one. And band gap for the manganese group sample, if we consider the uh, intermediate energy state, this is this is here 0.29 electron volt, and if, if uh, And this slide shows uh, uh, the total and partial density of states, total and partial density of states uh, for, for uh, cesium tin chloride metal halide uh, by considering uh, supercell and also the uh, chromium dot chromium dot uh, protein in the tin side. Okay, this is this is the uh, partial density of state for cesium tin and then chlorine. And this is the density of state for cesium tin chloride supercell. And as you can see, that uh, uh, this one, this is the composition of this, uh, the balance pan is mostly composed of, composed of this chlorine, 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 chlorine uh, 3s and 3p orbitals. Okay. And uh, the conduction band is uh, for the contribution of. Uh, Cesium and P. And for the doped one, again, uh, the, this is similar to the crystal one, except there are some, some uh, dopant levels are appeared, appeared here. It's also some intermediate states are appeared here. And this slide shows uh, the total and partial density of state for uh, manganese doping and also the dopant concentration for Fermi level. So as before, uh, there are some there are some uh, some uh, states are appeared uh, near the Fermi level because of the because of the manganese manganese stopping. Okay, 
and you can see this is also in the article here. And this slide shows the total and partial density of states for cesium germanium chloride, metal halide, uh, simulated by using pure cell and, and, and nickel dot one. So this is for the pure cell and for the uh, nickel dot cesium germanium chloride. Again, there are some, some states, uh, some token states are observed here. Okay. And then this slide shows uh, shows uh, uh, absorption coefficient as a function of photon energy for for the piston sample and chromium and manganese drop samples. Uh, as we can see that uh, chromium, and manganese, chromium and manganese drop sample show uh, very high absorptions. Absor absorptions. Uh, the piston samples do not show any. You see, there is an additional. Uh, additional P for the dope samples in, in the low energy region. The piston sample shows uh, 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 absorption in the ultraviolet, ultraviolet region. Ultraviolet here, you see this region is exponent over here. And as you can see that uh, in, the, in, the, uh, <laughs> in the visible region, there is no absorption for the piston samples. However, for the dog samples, there is a uh, large absorption process there. So, so these materials can be uh, useful for fabrication of the, uh, some optical devices. And this slide shows the uh, absorption coefficient for uh, pure and uh, metal dope cesium germanium, germanium chloride. Again, for the for the doping, uh, for the doping there, is an, uh, there is an absorption in the uh, in the visible visible region, so if we expand these regions over here. So you can see that there is uh, no uh, no absorption in the visible region. However, as a result of doping, the uh, absorption increases massively. And we have uh, optical uh, conductivity also increases in the. In the, in, the, in, the, in the visible region. And uh, the, the previous one is for, previous one is for cesium, cesium chloride sample. And this one is, this one is for, for the cesium uh, germanium chloride. And the dielectric function is also very important. So the dielectric function also, uh, dielectric function as a function of the protein energy. Uh, uh, is, uh, is is high for the for the doping doping concentration <coughs> and if the uh, <coughs> and if the uh, dielectric is high then charge carrier uh, charge recombination 